Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about concealers. Um, I'm actually very excited because Pure Anata, which is one of my favorite makeup brands, has launched their new concealer and it's a cream concealer. And uh, I haven't been able to find another Canadian product that I, I like in this kind of um, in this kind of uh, creamy texture. So I'm going to talk a little bit about all the different products because concealers come in a lot of different um I guess in a lot of different, not formats, uh, but you know what I mean, in a lot of different types of consistencies. And I have actually tried them all. So you can actually have a little pot like this. You can have the stick concealer and my favorite, which are these um, super hydrating cream concealers. And I'm gonna go through all of them and actually tell you what I like and don't like about each one and actually show you what it is that I have to do to cover my dark circles every day. I'm pretty much gonna show you how to conceal like a pro because sometimes um, depending on how deep your circles are, concealer might not be the only thing you need. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about each of the products that I'm using and why it's important to use them in a specific order. Um, so for example, with the pot concealers, so this one here is by Elate Cosmetics in the shade Buff. And this one here comes in a little uh, glass pot. And with these types of concealers, um, especially with the natural brands, you're going to have to go in with your finger and warm it up, okay? So if it is your product, um, you know, just make sure your hands are clean and that they are not wet. And you're going to go in and just pretty much massage the product warm it up it needs your fingers to get warmed up and then you're going to actually press it onto your eye area never dragging okay um and just you're just going to push it into the skin until you reach the desired um the desired coverage with the stick concealer so this one here is um in the shade light and it is also uh by pure Nada. Okay, so with a product like this, same thing, it contains a lot of um, beautiful oils that actually need to be softened up and warmed up by your finger. So again, you're not just going to take this tube and go straight onto your skin. Mm -hmm. You actually need to soften it up. So you would just go around like this and warm it up. And then you see how how beautifully it actually melts onto my finger uh, tip over here. And then same thing, you would just go and push that into your skin as well, all right? Um, where you need it for coverage. Um, now with the cream concealers, I really love these because there is no um, rubbing and softening required, okay? So this is a new product for me. I'm actually gonna try it uh, for the first time on video with you. Um, and this product is certified organic by, um, it, so it has the EcoCert uh, Cosmos organic logo. All right. And um, yeah, I'm super excited to try it. So I'm going to run and take all this off and I'll be back here to show you how to do the uh, concealer application. Okay, everyone, so let's continue with our concealer application. So I'm gonna do uh, one, of, one of my eyes with um, the Pure Nada Cream Concealer. This is, um, this is similar to a pot product. So I'm gonna show you how something like that would work. Again, these are the products that you need to actually warm up to get the oils going. Um, so I'm gonna do that. Now, I just wanna say really quickly, um, I did remove my makeup, but my skin is also hydrated. So make sure anytime you're applying concealer um, or any other product that you actually um, have moisturized underneath your eye area and that the product is absorbed. Okay, now before I apply the um, the stick concealer here by Pure Nada, I am going to tell you my little secret because it's essential for me to do this because of the, um, the darkness and actually the depth of my circles. Okay, so I'm going to color correct. And yes, I do this um, pretty much every day because if I don't color correct, my um, product is not actually 
going to have enough coverage for my dark circles. So I am just going to color correct with um, a conventional product, NYX. Most of you might know it. Um, and that's because I haven't found a natural product that actually uh, makes a color corrector. OK, so until I find something like that, I, I just need to continue using the conventional product. So now for my circles, and you can see the, the darkness here, um, right and how and how deep they are i am going to use the um i'm going to bring it a little bit closer i am going to use the peach shade over here but the yellow is really good too in actually um concealing if you are a little bit more blue um so for me i'm a little bit more on the on the purple reddish side so i'm going to actually take a bit of this um the peach color here, the peachy pink, and again, always pressing. Okay, so can you can you see the difference? This is quite intense okay again I'm pressing the product into my skin and I am going to take it to the corner sorry this way the corner of the nose here and on top of the eyelid Okay, and when you're doing this, you're going to bring it down um, and kind of fade it onto your cheekbones. So I haven't applied uh, foundation yet, but I'm going to do that. So it's um, really important that you don't leave it like in a semi circle just underneath your eye. But you can see how dark the one side is and how much better already this other side is. Okay, and again, if you have uh, pigmented eyelids, you want to actually bring the color um, of this uh of this color corrector on top of that. Okay, so if I stand back, you can see that my eyes are so pigmented that it actually looks like I'm wearing eyeshadow, okay? But obviously I'm not wearing anything on this side. This is the color, this is the side here that's been color corrected. And if you actually want to apply eyeshadow and have it actually look like it's true color, you need to actually uh, do this on top of your eyelid, okay? So the whole thing here now is uniform, okay? And I'm going to go quickly and do the same on the other side. Okay, can you tell the difference? I suddenly look awake. So for you busy moms out there, um, you need to be doing this. This is actually um, brightening and it makes you look like you actually got sleep last night, okay? Even though we know that you probably didn't. Okay, now that this is all in there, okay, we can um, actually continue with our, um, with our press, sorry, with our app, cream product and then on the other side I'm actually going to use the brand new um, the certified organic liquid concealer by Puranata which I'm so so excited to try okay and I am going to use the shade light for both products so with this concealer here I'm going to take it and I'm going to warm it up and I'm going to press it into my skin and let's see if I need to do anything else okay so I'm gonna do my right side with their, um, yeah, the original product. Okay, so it's on the right side, so not bad it is super creamy it doesn't go on um cakey it just really nicely like melts into your skin and it also can act as a really nice um eye primer so please make sure you do your eyelid okay 
Okay, and, and as you can see, I'm actually fading it down onto kind of a, an inverted triangle here on top of the cheekbone because it helps um, it helps to lighten this area um, below the circle because it will help light bounce um, back up to your eyes and also a little bit you fade it out into the nose all right so just you don't want to have any harsh line which shows you that the concealer has stopped here all right so this is the one side right there Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm actually going to take this, uh, the brand new concealer by Piranata, and I'm going to do it on my left side. Oh my goodness, I'm really excited. Oh, it's really super nice. Okay, so. So a couple of reasons while I'm doing this that, that you know, is, are the reasons pretty much why I really love a cream product, okay? And this is even before I went and um, gave up all my conventional um, makeup and switched to green. Um, I've just always been a lover of the cream concealer. It's just, it blends in so effort, effortlessly. It spreads like butter. Um, I think just for me, it's just much easier to work with and um, I, I really like how it um, blends easily with the rest of the foundation as well when it's time to apply that. Okay so here we go here's the application for this one here and what I like about this product, because it is so light and creamy, you can actually go on and add a little bit more if you feel like you need it. Now, for anyone who has um, the depth here, like I do, what you want to do, I'm going to show you a little trick. What you want to do is you want to take um, a thin brush. This is just actually a lip brush. But you actually want to um, brighten up that darkest line where it creates a shadow. Okay, so you would take a concealer that's maybe a little bit lighter than what you have, and you're gonna paint on that line. Okay, so I've done this. Just use a little bit of the NYX product because it's a little bit lighter. And then you just need to just tap it in. But you need to keep it on that deep, deep part right there where it looks like it folds. If I go like this, you'll be able to see it. So you want to create the illusion of, um, of that line actually being brought out. And the only way to do that is with a lighter shade, okay, to make it look like it actually stands out um, and it's not as deep as it looks. Hmm, pretty good. So you can tell the difference. Here I did the, the line with the lighter and here I didn't. So let's go ahead and do it as well because I think this side is deeper. And you need to make sure that you don't go on to the puffier, puffier part. So I'm telling you, these eyes of mine are a lot of work. Okay, so you would just kind of try and keep it on that line where you see it kind of getting deep into your skin. There you go. Can you see that? That's pretty magical. Okay, there you go. Okay, so this is my concealing routine, okay? When you are done that and you've put your concealers on, you're going to take a tissue, okay? And you're just going to lightly give it a bit of a blot because you don't want it creasing. So you want to um, remove some of the excess product. Okay, just give it a little, little pat, okay? No, not much came out onto the tissue, but... All right, and then after that, I usually powder the area 
that I've concealed. I'm gonna go in, um, I'm using a powder here um, by Sappho, New Paradigm. So this is their uh, translucent powder. And I'm gonna go in and just lightly um, buff the area. Make sure that your concealer is not creased when you do that, because you're gonna powder it into a creased, um, into a creased format or, okay? And you're just gonna buff it and give it a bit of this, all right? So here we go. And after that, if you wanna continue with your foundation, you can actually do that. And you would just take a little bit of um, a small pump of that. I'm using the tinted moisturizer. And I just wanna show you that I'm gonna actually um, put it uh, here on the cheeks. And you wanna actually go onto the area um, where you created, um, where you had the concealer, okay? So it all has to blend in together. There should be no lines, um, right? In order for you to actually have a, a beautiful, flawless application. All right, this is how I do my concealer. Um, and I wanted to give you um, just a couple of the ingredients that are actually in this new, uh, beautiful Pure Nada product because I think it's um, really important to know what goes um, what goes into it. So for example, um, with conventional concealers, they don't give your eye area much back. So it's really important that when you're switching over to a cleaner product, that you actually have a look at the ingredients, make sure that it, it is feeding um, this sensitive um, dry area where the little lines start forming. So for the new, um, this new beautiful cream concealer by Pure Nada, we have organic pomegranate granite oil, which is a rich essential fatty acid, fantastic for the eye area. We have organic rose hip oil. Um, again, it's luxurious, it's anti-aging. We have organic hemp seed, um, which is um, which is fantastic because it's also uh, nutrition, nutrient dense. Um, and the list goes on, organic honeysuckle, organic lychee berry, which are um, actually, they actually have rich antioxidant properties. So, and the list goes on. So I really encourage you to um, have a look at these products before you use them and, um, and try and see what actually works for you. A lot of these um, natural lines now, a lot of these natural Canadian brands, they have, um, uh, samples online. So if you actually wanted to try a sample of a cream product or a sample of their of their new concealer, you can go that you can go on their website and order uh, samples and then kind of play around with the shades and see what works best for you. Right. So this was my um, my concealer tutorial. If you have any questions, please post them below and I'll give you some links um, of where you can find the product. Okay. Thanks for watching and I'll see you here next time. Okay. Bye everyone.